It looks like the jungle. It has the same sense of permanency, the same squalor. But this isn't the Calais camp. 30 miles to the south, it's a new, growing migrant settlement. The demolition of the jungle hasn't even begun, but already this is the consequence. New camps are popping up across northern France. By day, they seem mellow. We're welcomed. Until recently, this place was home for just a few dozen. Now more than 300 are here, all East African, from Eritrea, Ethiopia and Sudan. They're keen to show us why they say they escaped their homes, political oppression and brutality. Nasruddin tells us he's here alone and just 16. He may well be, but he's no papers to prove it. Ethiopia is a problem, but I like my, my country. It's Ethiopia government is no good. It's killed uh, Oromo people. Working out who's telling the truth here and who's chancing it is one of so many complications. How does any European government assess who should get asylum and who shouldn't? Regardless, the conditions they're in here and in the jungle are truly horrendous and the effects on their health is clear. In the distance, less than a mile away, a service station, a truck stop and the motorway to Calais in the UK beyond. In the ditch next to the truck stop, we find plenty to suggest that the migrants are here regularly. But to see what they do here, you need to be out at night. We drove back to the same service station at just after half past ten. But because of what unfolded over the next 20 minutes, we only have garage CCTV to show bits of what happened. We arrived on the forecourt and moved away towards the ditch area on foot. We'd been welcomed earlier by the migrants. We felt no threat. Another security camera picks up a small group moving towards us. We spotted them and filmed briefly. But then two dozen turned up, rocks were thrown, followed by a sustained attack with knives and sticks until we reached our car, cut, bruised and without one of our cameras. What we experienced here last night was frightening. These men are evidently violent and they're dangerous. They wrestled us to the ground and they hit us. And it's not unusual. It's happening here on a nightly basis. You can see in the undergrowth right next to the petrol station where they gather waiting to get on trucks. And it's not just at this location, but at petrol stations and port approach roads right across northern France. Weekly, truck drivers film the attacks. Dave King is a volunteer at the jungle. He's been in and out of the place for a year now, and he knows it better than most. If we take the view that they're all a bunch of thugs, then that's absolutely wrong. If you, if you take the view that they're all a bunch of poor, innocent refugees here, wrong. No, it's a community of 10,000 people with some wrong-uns there. <laughs> and and uh, as there is in any community of 10,000 people. But to make the, 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 the judgment on the entire community based on the, act uh, the activities of, of one small element is nonsense. What is clear is that the authorities here still have no real grip on this. Vulnerable people are suffering and the violent core is free to roam. Mark Stone, Sky News in Northern France.